Hello YouTube, Flashlight Enthusiast here. What I've got for you here today is the combination beam headlamp from Sofirin, the HS20. Really nice looking flashlight, and if you'd like to learn more, stay until the end of this video. Latarkę na testy dostarczył sklep pcphunters.pl, za co serdecznie dziękuję. Link oczywiście znajdziecie w opisie. Coming back to the flashlight itself, I can see that it is clearly a standard Sofirin cardboard box with just the labeling what the flashlight is hidden inside and the version this is the sft40 cool white emitter version however you will also find the another high ceri led inside so without further ado let's show you what we've got inside the packet is simply packed with accessories and other stuff as you can see the flashlight is well protected in transportation you won't miss the labeling here right there is a standard usb to usb c charging cable from sofirn very nice. Manual in different languages. Highly advise reading this before operating. My package is definitely missing some good stuff like spare o rings. Hmm. Luckily, head strap has already been pre installed. This is a nice quality stretchy fabric with Sofirin logo. No reflecting items on this particular one. That's a shame, but on the other hand, it is more tactical. Right, the mount is rubber, so it should be more comfortable than those plastic ones. It definitely holds the flashlight quite well. It can be rotated, as you can see right here. The mounts are also rubber, so taking out the flashlight is not a problem. The flashlight itself is made out of a single piece of aluminum body. Everything is metal here, so that's good for heat dissipation. As you can see, we've got dual LED design. Here is the SFT 40 emitter in cool white in orange pill reflector for more throwy beam and on the right side we've got the LH351D emitter under TIR optics for more flooded performance and we do have each button individual control of each LED so that you can operate it independently that's really nice we do have some labeling here indicating the battery orientation on the left portion here we do have the access to the battery let's show you what we've got here everything was perfectly smooth threads are standard soften thick square cut well lubricated with o-ring and we do have the insulation film so be sure to take it out before operating here it is a nice spring, it looks like gold plated or something like that. High quality, I like that. There is also the included 3000 mAh to 18650 Sofirin branded battery. It is an unprotected, however, button top. The good thing is that you can also use other unprotected flat top batteries inside this flashlight without any problems because there is a flat contact with no physical guard. On the other side, we do have unscrew wing cap to reveal USB-C charging port. How brilliant. Uh, we do have also the charging indicator here, which will turn from red to green when the charging has been finished. It is a two amps charging, so it took me roughly two hours to fully charge the included 3000 mAh battery. Let me tell you that the user interface is super functional. We've got one click for on, one click for off for each channel individually. Hold the switch to cycle low, medium, high, low, medium, high, etc. in the loop. Double tap for turbo, one click to return to the previously used mode and one click for off. However, despite having individual control over each LED, we do have the possibility to switch between channels using only one button. So in order to do that, we do have to turn on the flashlight, let's say go into the low mode in flat and then triple click to go into the both channels, triple click to go into the throw channel and triple click again to return to the flat channel. Isn't that amazing? Wow! We also do have the battery status indicator every time we turn on the flashlight. Uh, for like five seconds and then it also disappears all right when we do have the flashlight turned on you obviously can use another channel independently to increase the brightness while having still the flat in low then increase the brightness in flat etc so it does offer each and every individual control triple click from off 
to enter the lockout mode and it will be indicated by double blink of an LED. Triple click again to turn the flashlight on. Obviously there is also a possibility to physically lock out the flashlight by lightly unscrewing the tail cap. Ah, I almost forgot. There is also a shortcut to the ultra low mode by holding the switch from off, but you probably guess it's by yourself without me telling you about this, right? Here are my lumen measurements on the Sofirin HS20. If you need more time, feel free to pause the video. I'll try to make it as quick as possible as we have lots of mods to cover. Starting with the turbo flat only, we do have like 3 minutes and 10 seconds of turbo runtime before the slow steady step down over the course of 1 minute to around 400 lumen level, the body achieving 45 degrees. As you can see, we do have standard linear brightness degrees over a runtime of 2 hours and 33 minutes before the flashlight started to step down to lower modes to increase the runtime. Now the high mode, again flat only, here we do have almost like 10 minutes of flat output stabilized performance before the slow steady up step down over the course of again 5 minutes to around 243 lumen level. Again we can see standard linear brightness decrease over time with over runtime of around 3 hours and 42 minutes before stepping down to lower modes. Let's jump now to the throw channel. Here we have like 1 minute and 42 seconds of steady operation before the slow steady step down over the course of again 60 seconds to around 288 lumen level. Standard linear brightness decrease over time with runtime around two and a half hours before stepping down to lower modes. Here is the high mode throw only channel, 10 minutes and 49 seconds of excellent performance before the step down, steady one, slow one, to around 340 lumen level, the flashlight body obviously stabilizing at around 45 degrees Celsius, which is its thermal limit for this particular model. Overall runtime is around two and a half hours, again, before stepping to the lower modes. Now let's see what happens when we combine both channels. Well, we do have around one and a half minutes of steady operation before the step down started to appear over the course of around 75 seconds. So not that fast, mind you, to around 478 lumen level. The flashlight body again stabilized at 45 degrees Celsius over one time is two and a half hours before flashlight started to step down. And the curve is maybe not perfect, but we do have this relatively flat curve of brightness degrees over time. So although it is not perfect, I wouldn't say it's tragedy either. Last but not least, combined channels high mode. Here we do have linear brightness decrease over time with relatively flat curve. As you can see, we've got almost four minutes of steady operation before the quick step down over the course of 25 seconds to around 500 lumen level, which is extremely respectable. Alright, summing up, I think this is a really nice addition from Sofirin headlamp collection. And uh, it does feature ultra simple user interface, quite functional beam as you can see in the beam shot section. It does offer individual control over each one, has battery indicator, USB-C 
quick charging and is extremely durable with all those aluminium casing. I really like that Sofian combined the throwaway beam of SFT 40mm with the LH351D high CRI beam. Obviously it is also available with XHP 50.2 for a little bit more power but I do believe that this particular setting I'm holding here right now is more universal because the you got the two different beam styles that's combined will give you a really nice functional flashlight. Obviously it does not feature flat output stabilization but uh, you getting really good package for budget price with really nice run times. So guys if you're looking for you know combination beam headlamp that is on the budget I can definitely recommend Sofian HS20 to you. I wish you all the best Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to help the channel grow. I really appreciate your support, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.